Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and today it is, you know, just about time to take a look at darkness. We're missing one more dupe, which we can only get from login, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. Uh, her gear is as done as I want it to be, and uh, she's... She's a funny unit. She, she's got some quirks to her, alright? So she is light, she is also physical, which is interesting, on Adventurer and Warrior's Mind, and she is a defense growth, because she is supposed to be your tank. She is a single target physical attack for 70%, increases your guard power by 15%, whatever, cool. Uh, the, you know, the team that you're gonna run her on does not have guard at all, so doesn't matter. Her first skill is an, our second unit that has a taunt alongside Earth Clayman. And if you don't know how useful he is, uh, let me tell you, he's not. So, chance to taunt for two turns and then increases her own defense by 40% for two turns. So, not only is she directing all the attacks to herself, she's actually, you know, increasing her defense, allowing her to take less damage, which is good for a taunting tank. And then her second skill is a special orb convert from one green and one orange to two blues, which is useful. And then it also increases the blue alt gauge gain by 20%, which is actually pretty significant. So on a blue focused team, you can either, you know, make sure no one gets hit and also orb change alongside your others and also get a little bit extra alt gauge on top of that, which is nice. Uh, her Valor trait, I don't know why you would take her into Valor. I mean, we certainly will try for funsy onesies. Um, but her actual trait, 4 combo blues, increases her own guard rate by 9%. Uh, it's not a trait you should... You know, you're going to get it for free, because you get her dupes for free, but it's, it's not a good trait. And then at 120, she gets extra guard power up, and then she increases other team members when... Uh, oh no, it's just physical characters. Alright, cool. Okay, so yeah, she's an orb-changing tank. Awesome. Let's put her on some blue teams and see how well she functions. Oh, and uh, it, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out when we get into the, the actual battle. But she also, it doesn't say here, she has a minus 30% chance to hit for everything minus her ult, I think. So, uh, if you haven't used her yet, and you try and use her, and she misses, like, four attacks in a row, that's why. Well, I'll, I'll show you that debuff when we're actually in a battle. Alright, first team, gonna be the meta. I mean, we, we gotta use her there. We have used her previously, but we've never really focused on her. We've never really left her up front. So, uh, Megamine, Cosma, Aqua, Shizu, Rimuru, Darkness, full Konosuba team. And her job is going to be to protect Megamine, or protect whoever gets low in HP, realistically. She's just here to live, more or less. And she's also here to also help us get more alt gauge for Megamine because of that extra 20% gauge increase. Oh, let's turn auto off first. There we go. Alright, so Cosmo will come out, and let's take Shizu out for Aqua. Alright. So, turn one, we'll do this. This doesn't need to be a perfect run, but, uh, oh, first off, we do need to see. So, we do have accuracy, minus 30%. So, <laughs> and it, it it's actually kind of a lie, because it, it seems like it's a lot higher. It seems like she's going to miss a lot more than 30% of the hits. Granted, you probably aren't sending a whole lot of them, and there she hit both, so I mean, she's already proving that I'm fraud, and I don't know how this game works, but <clears throat> when you really, really pay attention to it, it does seem like, oh, that's kind of weird. Alright, that's not a good hand, but it is a bunch of Megamine, so let's, uh, let's kind of run with it. Yeah, okay. Do I have the Fire Charm or the Heal Charm on right now? I think it's the Fire Charm. So ideally, if you're going to run Darkness as like a main unit, you want her to live and you want her to tank, and you also don't want her to die either, because she's going to take the brunt of the attacks. So you would probably rather put a heal charm on instead of more damage support uh, if you're going to actually run her, but I didn't do that this time. We'll do it 
on the next run, because I think she's going to have a little bit harder time, because I feel like... Okay, game, are you kidding me right now? You're going to give me five more greens, aren't you? You're going to give me four more greens, aren't you? Just because you hate me, huh? Okay, well, let's see what this turns out to be. Uh... Okay, well, we, we can do this. Alright, Mega Mean change, Darkness change, so now the blues are getting 20% extra ult gauge right here, on top of the 10% all gauge increase, on top of the 200% extra skill points. And now let's see if she can hit anything here. And miss, miss, 200. Okay, so she missed twice. Alright. And the guard. Alright, so we're on turn 5, and we're looking not great. <laughs> Let's put that out. We're looking not great right now. Uh, Megamine almost has an alt, so we can actually push that here with Aqua. And then we'll leave Darkness up front. We'll taunt with her first. And then give Megamine some extra alt gauge. And then we can do this. And that'll change most of that. And then we can bring Cosma in for Aqua. And then use his orb change. So now, technically... I'm taunting, which doesn't really matter because Gabaru is an AoE unit, and that is a major flaw with both taunt units in this game, that if the enemy you're fighting is an AoE unit, AoE attacks, you know, anytime his, their alt is AoE, taunting really doesn't matter because it's going to hit everybody regardless. And so, oh, did I actually save myself any damage? Technically, because Darkness did have an extra 40% defense. So I did save myself a little bit, but the rest of the team, they took normal damage, right? So the taunt wasn't really effective here. It'll be effective this turn if Gabaru is going to poke me, but if he does another AoE, then I just use a taunt for two turns for no reason, because it didn't actually matter. And that is the issue I have with taunt units. Because unless you guaranteed know that it's going to be like that, then there's not much really you can do. Aqua is going to have higher attack than Megamine, probably. 12-8. Yeah, okay, so I can't use the ult force here. We'll just run it like this. <clears throat> we do have an ult for darkness, though, so that's cool. Um, she is not going to get the fire buff. But she'll get everything else. Okay, so now... Let's force the ult, let's orb change here. And that was an AoE attack, wasn't it? That was an AoE. He hit everybody. So yeah, or, or maybe maybe I was a turn off. Who knows? Um Hmm. Okay, so you can go away now. Uh and actually you're gonna come in for Shizu. And you're gonna change these. Alright. And we, will we have enough? 8, 16, 24, 2, yeah, 295. Alright, so yeah, if we get max points here, we will have enough. Just about. Uh, I think that's a, hold on. Do I need 295 or 290? I think I need 295. Alright, cheek, cheeky counter. Cool beans. Um, 8, 16, so that's 8 at least, I need, I need 5 more points. Okay, um, you're gonna come in for Cosma, and you're gonna come in for Aqua. Alright, and then we'll just send these two blues. Okay, because I do want to send Darkness with all the buffs active here, just to see how much damage she does. She's not an E- oh, okay. She's not an EX unit, so it doesn't matter that she doesn't have two alt gauges. But let's buff one more time here. And I really don't think she's going to kill, because she is physical. And Gabaru has 100% physical resistance. So, it, they made her canonically correct, right? They made her physical, because she smacks people with a sword if she ever hits them. Uh, and she loves to be hit, so... They made her correct. It's just that by making her correct, she ends up being not an entirely useful unit. So, alt buff, fire buff. And then we'll bring Cosma in for Shizu. And then use his skill. 
and then we'll use Aqua's skill. All right. So, I mean, it was not a great run, but we ended up still being able to do what we needed to do. So, let's send some few orbs of darkness, just because we have them, and we'll see if we connect with any, and then we'll send the ults. So, miss, miss, 4,000. 4, wow. 22,000. Darkness. Darkness's ult is funny, though. It's, it's very funny. Just run up and then step on a rock. And then blow up. And then she's really having a crisis in her underwear. And she does 181k. And then she raises our guard power for the entire team. Like, oh, whoop de doo Okay. Alright, and then Megamine should be able to wipe, because she has quite a few buffs on. Even if she doesn't have the highest amount of stacks, it should be enough. Yeah, 1.7. There we go. Okay, so did Darkness help here? Yeah, she orb changed for us, and she taunted. Of which case, that didn't matter. But maybe maybe it'll matter a little bit more on a different team. Alright, so we're going to start her on the Fount of Wisdom team with Aqua. Because normally I'd run Trainee, who'd have a special convert and the ult rush. Of which Darkness has a special or special convert and Aqua has the ult rush. Alongside another powerful buff. So, it should work fine, and it's built for a turn on orb change for normally Hinata, but now that we have Darkness, we can just use her. And this Rimuru does do a bit more single target attacks than what Gabaru does. So, with that in mind, we are going to change out this charm for the heal charm. So we can ensure that she lives long enough to actually be able to tank, because she has the highest defensive stat here, and her gear is not even maxed out, right? She is a defense growth character, so 11.111 is a very satisfying number to look at. Uh, oh no, we need stamina. No, we don't. We're going to need a lot of it today. Okay, well, let's find out. Alright, well, let's see if this run goes as horribly as the first one did. Uh, we'll get Hanada in here for Aqua. Yeah, okay, we'll do this. This is Inferno 1, though, so, I mean, like, it's not going to be the hardest thing in the world, but it's also still not the easiest. Uh, Darkness hit both attacks right there. Alright, there's a seal. She nerfed uh, Albus, which is fine. Okay, that's not a great hand, I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> So the ones, one downside from not having Trainee is that we didn't get enough gauge to get double Diablo turn one. Um, just send these Hanada orbs, because they're a whole bunch of not blue orbs. And then we should get Protection Gauge turn three with someone, I think. Somebody, maybe. Okay, we can work with that. Alright, oh, two hits right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get we'll get Albus's. No, we'll get your orb change, and then we'll get Albus out for Rimaru. And then convert with him. And we're still a little bit shy on the skill points. But now this will heal up darkness. Perfect, back up to full HP. And then next turn, we should have enough points to taunt and protect our other couple units. There was her miss right there. And we do 21k. Awesome. Oh, maybe we should have gone to a harder stage. All right. She got the attack nerf, which is fine, because she's definitely not here to do any sort of attacking. Um, Rimuru's ult is an AoE, so using this now wouldn't be too great, but we do want a little bit extra defense, so I'm going to use it anyways. Uh, we'll use her orb change, and then we'll bring Albus back in for... Actually, hold on. Hmm, no, we'll bring you in for Rimuru. <clears throat> and then we'll rush Hinata's ult. Perfect. And then we'll bring Albus in. I don't want Aqua up front because she doesn't have the extra stats from being on Fount of Wisdom, so she will take quite a bit of damage. Neither does Darkness, but she is giving herself the extra 40% defense, so at least she has something going on for her. Alright, D8, 10k. We're also, because we used Darkness's uh, orb change, we got that extra 20% on the blues for the halt, so Hinata's actually looking real good right now. 
All right, and then this does only 4,400 against Darkness. I mean, that was that's some good tanking right there for her. And her taunt is still up. We can use Diablo again. Um, we can get uh, we can get Aqua in here for Albus, and then finish up Hinata's alt and not have her be sealed. And we'll use Hinata's Orb Change, because that should work here. Yep, perfect. And then we'll get her out for Rimuru. And then we can use Darkness's Orb Change again. And we're still taunting, so we're still pretty much protected. Aqua shouldn't take any damage unless it's an AoE attack, which I hope it's not. Darkness missed again. And what happens here? What happens here? And one, two... Okay, so yeah, we could have taken two hits against Aqua, and it could have hurt probably quite a bit. But Darkness took them both, and now we can heal her back up. Uh, what is it, 20... 48% right here? Which should actually get her to full. Which is really nice. So and this is an effective strategy, no no doubt. So if, you're, if the rest of your team is kind of squishy, because you don't have the best dupes, Darkness is for free, right? She'll be 120, she has her own gear. So she can be a self-sufficient tank while also helping you stack up orbs, just like here. Again, we can use it. And then we're going to send this entire hand and not really worry about it. Let's taunt again, actually, because we have the points, so why not? Let's keep everyone protected. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. We need, okay, so we need eight, 16, 24. We need 320 points to full nuke with Aqua being here as well. So we need two more stacks. I, well, we should be able to get that if we get full hands. Alright, again, we've been sealed, we guarded one, and okay. We're, I mean, we're looking fairly good. We can take Aqua out now. Uh, ooh. Right, so, actually, no. We kind of need to take Darkness out here, because I, I need the attack nerfs to be off everybody. But I also need Hinata up front. Ooh, we're not going to get all of the buffs. We also can't use um, Aqua's skill right now because it's sealed. Okay. Well, we can we can certainly push another turn, right? We're just gonna have to take Darkness out for the first time. We'll send this. This should get us two full gauges. Which will then help. So we just have to push one extra turn to turn nine. Yeah. Because we'll need turn eight to get to the 320 points that we need. Okay, what a terrible hand. <laughs> what an absolutely garbage hand. Alright, he's going to AoE again. Okay. So there's a heal. Let's heal up somebody. Oh, actually, let's get... Hinata in, because she'll take less damage. Take her out for Aqua, and then we'll heal up either Rimuru or Albus. And actually, will I be able to get... Oh, that's 312 points. How much is this? That's not much better. Oh, oh, oh come on. Come on. You had to do that to me? What is... What does three blues get me? Well, what does five greens get me? I guess is the better question. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Alright, miss and a counter. So, even though we missed the attack, we can still get countered. That's interesting to note. Alright, that hurt a little bit. Alright, there's a big heal. That's fine, because we're going to nuke him down anyways. So Darkness, thankfully, has an orb, so we can take her out now. So she's done a, a fairly decent job of protecting everybody, while still being able to help the team out by orb changing a bunch. So one, two, three. So we're doubling up on the Pierce, because Albus and Aqua both have Pierce. But we're also going to lower the Pierce resistance and also up our Pierce power. So she fits quite well on this team. And then, uh, let's see how much damage Hinata does. Yeah, let's just do these. And then we'll send the ult. 80k. 
80,000 damage on the normal. I mean, that's that's pretty good right there. The extra pierce power coming in alongside the resistance down. Dead end finale, and then she's going to stab me. At least it's a nice view. And... 1.7 million. I mean, it's not a bad team. Could we have gotten a few extra stacks? Maybe. If I had played it better and we'd gotten some better hands? Eh. Possibly. But Diablo also doesn't stack points as quickly. He only stacks 30 instead of 40. So, can't really hold that against him too much. But Darkness definitely did help by tanking a lot of normal attacks. And just by tanking ult, she took really not a lot of damage. So, pretty impressive right there. Alright, for the last part of the video, we're going to use Darkness to help uh, one of my more underpowered teams in a stage that actually can still be fairly difficult if you don't have the units. So we're going to go into the Wind 2.0 Tempered Edge EX3. As you can see, my Diablo is a very, very sad looking DPS unit. Dino is still only level 80. Uh, so we're going to pray that Darkness can tank the, the shots from Gelden, the other Diablo, and protect our two rather weak units and still come out with a dub. Because we still have triple orb changing, we've got some buff, we've got buff, we've got debuffs. Gabru is giving Diablo a buff as well, so, I mean, we'll, we'll see how well this goes, but this is another stage with no set starting hand, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll run with this. We've got a whole bunch of trainee orbs and one darkness orb, but because we have Geld to give away all blue orbs, we can just bring Diablo in for trainee and then give away that one darkness and we'll have a full hand. And we'll be looking some pretty good damage right here, so let's just make sure to send a blue last since it has the damage buff. And 655... Well, okay damage here. My Diablo is just terribly weak. Uh, it's just very unfortunate, but we can do something right here. So, we can send this orb change, and then we can also taunt, so we don't take any additional damage from anybody else. We could then give Diablo the magic buff, change all those, heal up Geld a little bit, and then use our attack buff. And then we can send an early new or an early alt here while being protected, because uh, all these, both Diablo and Geld, they only send single targets. And we have a heal charm on Gabaru now, so 36k. I mean, not the greatest in the world, but definitely better than nothing. It's just that this is supposed to be a burst team, and we're... Because I don't have a lot of damage, it's not good at bursting. So there we go. She took four attacks there, like a champ. And now we can just use Geld's Orb Change here. And, uh... Yeah, we can heal Darkness back up now if we want to. But I actually don't want to, since we have a whole hand of blues, and that would just be a gigantic waste. So, I think we'll bring Trainee in. And then we'll just buff up... Diablo's alt gauge so then we get another alt next turn and we'll have double double Gabaru so we'll have an additional 30 points so we have 86 now to use other things miss those hits good job darkness and 17k all right and now we're still protected so good good tanking and what 600 200 man that was some pretty decent stuff right there Let's do this orb change. Let's do the guaranteed crits. And then let's change those greens. So now we have a full hand mostly of Diablo. Heal Darkness a bit. And then I think we can bring you in. And then lower Diablo's wind resistance and crit resistance. So we make sure that he dies. And then we'll just send the rest of these on Geld. Right, 87k. All right, not enough to kill, but he's... Okay, after a cheeky counter, now he's dead. All right, a double cheeky counter. And then this should do some decent damage. All right, 31k. Diablo's dead, turn 5 coming in. Darkness no longer taunting, and we have a whole bunch of this. However... However... Do we... I don't think we can taunt anymore, huh? No, we can't. So, let's let's do this instead. Let's change all those greens. Perfect. Let's bring Geld back in for Dino. And then we'll use the giveaway to send them all back to Diablo. 
There, we have a full hand again. And... we can't use anything else. Alright. So I think I think we've proven that darkness can be effective right here as far as protecting, except for counterattacks, because that's just unfortunate. So I don't think we really need to finish this fight. Darkness did her job. She tanked two turns worth of just, like, eight hits or something for really good, really good damage. And she's helped us, you know, stay protected. And that's the whole, that's the whole point of this entire fight, right? So... Um, attack buff. Mm, darkness can go away. And we use the magic resistance down. And then we do this. Give him another magic buff, heal him a little bit. And uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do. So let's just send this. See if we can kill here. 43k. All right, not enough to kill, but this tune or this 150 orb might kill. There we go. All right, we have cleared it again. Darkness did her duty in the beginning of the fight, allowing us to build up alt gauge and damage buffs with Diablo without fear of him taking too many hits. Because we actually would have taken a decent amount of damage if they had like full focused him, but instead, Darkness took it like a champ, just like she's supposed to. So she's not a bad unit. It's just that you really need to be specific in where you want to use her and why because if you're not on a blue focus team there's not really a point on bringing her and but if your team is quite squishy like my dino and diablo are pretty squishy and they're on a blue focus team she can work fairly well for being a unit that misses 30 percent of her attacks and taunts but i think she's a a, a gimmicky unit there are other better blue orb changers that can do maybe a little bit more for the team but she's fun to use, right? And she's darkness. So uh, let me know what you guys think of her. But that's it for me. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later.